Hi everyone, in this video you are going to learn this the JavaScript loop. We have this a lot of types of loop, but in this video you are going to learn this JavaScript for each loop. So for each loop using for the multiple times of printing about there. So we are going to explain this array method which is the for each loop and this is basically function of how it's work basically. So for example, I take a variable a and this is basically an array element and instead of this for variable a, I take some value about there. So there is i take this four type of this value about this is the all of the value is the string about there so i'm gonna take it this all the value and for this we are going to printing something for the so multiple times so this have the special method which is the a for a dot for is function so this is this is basically a inbuilt function this is only work for this the a value all of this but if you want to some exceptional so you can make some providing here some other name of the value about there but you can make some another thing which is a inbuilt function for this a.4 is so this is basically inbuilt function you just need to make it the function included over there and then you need to write here this any statement that which you are going to doing about there so this will be automatically work and it will be work for this any types of performing for this the multiple tasks of printing so multiple times so but there we can also use for the for but the for will be very lengthy process for that you need to get this a land get and so most of things it will be so most of lengthy process and you need to do some some lot of work but we're going to this is the way a for is method so this is very smooth function and this is very small function you need to do write some only this one to to, to line up this code about it and it will be working perfectly so we're going to back to our code studio and we'll be do the practically about there one eternity later okay here you can see i have opened my visual code studio on there and there i need to create a file which is one of this folder i'm gonna creating a file which is for is dot js and save this file so after creating this file i'm just gonna hide this the left side of window over there so i'm gonna connect this for is file to index.html file which is i have already the preference of script.js file so here i'm gonna add this the for is file so it is forest.js i have connected successfully and you can see i've already opened this the live server on this browser over here and we're going to save the live preview on our browser so i just need to open this now forest.js file so first of all i'm going to take an array element of the variable okay now we can see here i have take a variable of the array element which is i take some value of info side of there this array element so i'm going to applying this forest method right now so which is the directly method which is the inbuilt function a dot for and e you must be remember that this for is e should be capital because this is an inbuilt function it should be capital otherwise it will be not work this function so i'm going to provide it a dot for is so this is the basic function so this is basically we have made this basic function and we're going to see that there is nothing is displaying over there because we haven't printed anything about there so for the printing about it so we need to provide here a value of this a function name so inbuilt function you can use there so i'm going to make an inbuilt function inside of this so here i'm going to take a function this keyword name and then i'm going to opening that function and inside of this i'm going to open a curly braces so this is basically inbuilt in complete function so inside of this function i'm going to provide the statement so we're going to printing this so here i'm going to painting using this document dot right and inside of this so for this printing about it so i'm going to add a first of all a break then it will be about implement over there so this is break now terminate this line and this is saved so there is nothing is working as you can see it is the non displaying over here so if we make it zoom so there you can see it is displaying this none because this code is perfectly not running because we haven't identified any value inside of this function so we are going to inside of this so we are going to printing this this variable will print this all of this value about there but this all the print will be for this in row say in the column sizes so one then first one and then break line and then will be then one and then break in this second one before that we are going to implement this function value about this so i'm going to writing the function name which is this value i'm going to take it to so this value and then i'm going to painting here the value about there so this is function and this value we have called using this value function about there so this is perfectly we have said it now if we save this file it will be perfectly work now you can see this all of this are value of this a variable this all of this element well it was displaying and it was printed successfully so now we can do some another thing also that if you want to print there some index you want to print with this index so you can also print there so i'm going to take there index and then i'm going to separate using comma so there you can see this index is the colorized because we haven't 
call this index in our value over there so i'm gonna call here the index so then i'm gonna make it a plus this i'm using that concatenation about there so here inside of this, this value we have taken so i'm gonna add some more thing about inside of this so i'm gonna make some attractive so i'm gonna add another plus and inside of this i'm gonna using the quotation double and inside of this i'm gonna make some stylish of the font of the designs so here i'm gonna using the first bracket so it will be make complete this first bracket will be displayed for first value one then first bracket and then it will be take some like there so i'm gonna make some spaces about there so this is we have made this index value of this and then the break line now save this so it was displaying on this side reason here so we need to provide here this index after this value so first we need to identify this value on there then we need to print this index so comma and then index about there now save this file now we can see this printed successfully on there so now if you want to make some spaces about there so we can make after this some spaces and save this file now you can see we have some spaces properly about there so this is basically i provide the first bracket but if you want to providing this clone so you can also provide the clone about there or you want to provide this double clone so this also will work so anything you want to provide it here so this will be perfectly work so i hope you understand this the forest loop that how it work and how we can using it in build function and much more so now i'm going to show you that another thing that if you want to there so you want to call this function using some another inserted thing so you can do it simply so i'm just gonna copy this uh, function method which is here so i'm gonna copy it this is ctrl c and copy it so this is our function this is our a.force loop so i'm gonna exacting this function i'm gonna providing here this out of there so we need to call this function so we need to provide here the function name so i'm gonna provide the function name as like I'm gonna provide the function name is print and I need to call this print and this inside of this forest function now save this you can say it is work perfectly so there is, is the reason so for this forest if you want to build that function inside of there you can do it or if you want to that inside this function you want to make the out of this the forest loop so this also will be work so this is basically universal function and this is the invert function this is work automatically where you are putting this it will work automatically so i hope you understand this whole process about the forest loop if we still have any inquiry about it and if you want to know anything about this so you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any tutorial like this